Hello, everyone, and welcome back for another episode of the Madden 08 PC Instructional Series. This go around, we'll be taking a look at how to install custom made uniforms into your roster or franchise so it can be used in Madden 08. So let's get going, shall we? First, you'll need a program called the DAT File Replacer, or DFR for short, and I personally like using version number five. Keep in mind that the latest version isn't always the latest and the best, but in this case, it is. If you don't already have that downloaded and usable, then go to the file download page on footballidiot.com and look for the DAT file replacer version 5.0. If you click on that link, you'll be presented with a for shared website download page. If you click on the download button in the middle of the page, you may be asked to sign up. I'm not sure. Uh, depends on if you already have an account or not. If you are, you can just click on the link to use your Facebook or Google account credentials and you won't have to register. Or back on the footballidiot.com download page, you can click on the mirror site and you'll be taken to a Mediafire page to download the DFR program. And for that, you shouldn't need to register, but you, you may if, um, if you don't already have a Mediafire account. Either way you wish to do it, download the program and put it somewhere that you'll remember where it is. Inside my downloads folder, I have a folder named Football Info then DAT file info and finally DFR5 and just download it into that folder. Now after you've downloaded it, navigate to the EXE file on your computer and right click on it and open up the properties box by clicking properties. In here, click on the Compatibility tab and check the box to run as administrator. Then click OK. Then right click on the EXE file again and choose the option to Pin to Start. You see that I've already done it so I don't have to do it again. But if you do this, you can easily open the program from your start menu with just a click of the mouse button. Now, if you haven't done so already, you need to go back to the footballidiot.com forum and download a uniform package that you wish to use. There are lots of users here that have created uniforms, including El Guapo, Bulldog34, Nick, the Purple People Eater, and 1312 Colette. I, I'm, I know I messed up that name, I'm sorry. We call him Q for short, and that's a whole lot easier. I'll use his installation guide for this tutorial for the sake of example. We can go to the first page of his uniform thread under the graphics main subject on footballidiot.com. Here he has lots of cool things like the installation guide and both the 2016 and 2017 uniforms. You just click on the uniforms that you want to download, click on the link and it'll take you right to the post for that particular uniform. Now keep in mind that with each update of the Football Freaks Football Idiot mod, these uniforms are updated as well. So you need to look at the date of the updated mod and normally all those uniforms that have been created before that date will be included in the update. It's not always a guarantee but normally that is what happens. 
since there hasn't been an update for a while and I know that the Pro Bowl uniforms are not included yet, we'll use these as our test install. So under the 2017 uniforms section, click on the spoiler button and you'll see all of the 2017 uniforms. Scroll to the bottom of the list and you'll see the 2017-18 Pro Bowl uniforms link. Now if you click on it, it'll take you directly to the post for those uniforms. Download the uniforms by clicking on the link which will take you to a Mediafire download page and download these uniforms. Remember to place them in a spot that you can easily find where they're at later and it'll make it a whole lot easier to find even after this little operation is done. Also keep this web page that has the uniforms on it up and available as there's useful installation information. Q does a wonderful job of creating the install directions with each uniform pack that is created, so always look for this information with the download. After you've downloaded the uniforms that will be in a zip file, unzip them preferably in the same place that you have the zip file just to keep everything well organized. All the uniforms will be labeled so as to what they are. If you look at the install directions, you see the important note that says, the selected uniform must be installed into all four IDs. This means for the Pro Bowl uniforms, you need to select a single version and install that version in all four ID slots. There are three different uniforms as described in the, in the installation information and you'll need to decide what version you like and use it for all four ID slots. If you haven't done so, go to your Madden 08 documents folder and if you scroll down you'll see the uniforms.dat file. Right click on that file, click copy, and then click paste. A copy will be put right next to the original folder. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, file. Um, I always change the file extension name to reflect that it is a copy. And then Madden 08 won't try to use that file. It will just be a copy. And it'll be there in case uh, I need it later if the operation doesn't work. But if everything works correctly, you can always delete the copy if you choose to later. Now you can edit the uniforms.dat file and you start by opening up the DFR version 5 and open the uniform.dat file that you want to edit. Keep in mind that your directions say that zero based arrays is checked. So go to your tools menu at the top and choose options and then zero based arrays. This will give the first record in your list a zero instead of a one. Now click on select replacement file on the right and navigate to the file that you want to use. In this case, it'll either be the AFC uniform with no patch, the A patch, or the Pro Bowl patch, whichever you prefer. Click on open, and then you can choose the files that you want to replace. In this case, the directions say file numbers one, uh, excuse me, files numbers two, and three, so I replace both of those by highlighting them both. Then I click on replace selected files with the replacement file button. And those two files are replaced. You scroll down the file list and since the directions say to replace files 719 and 720, 
you highlight those and click the replace selected files with the replacement file button again and those two files are going to be replaced. Now you do the same thing for the NFC uniforms. Click on the select replacement file button to navigate to the NFC uniform that you wish to use and open that file. Then as the directions say select files 211 to uh, I'm sorry 210 211 721 and 722 and since you're already there at the 700s you can select 721 and 722 then click replace selected files with the replacement file once that's done you scroll up the list and select file 210 and 211 then click on replace selected files with the replacement file and you're done with this operation. Down below you click on the save current dat then go up to the menu bar and um, under dat file select exit and this closes the DFR. Now to make sure that everything took correctly open up a session of your Madden 08 and when you get to your Pro Bowl, uh, you can use your franchise if it, it, most likely, and you may have to simulate to your Pro Bowl. And you can see the new uniforms are now in the game to be selected. And of course, you don't have a choice with the Pro Bowl uniforms. There's only one version. Please forgive me here, but for some reason I have the old Aloha Stadium and not the new Camping World Stadium in my franchise file, and I'm not going to update until the new updates to the mod come out. But that installs the new uniforms, and you can use the same procedure for other uniforms as well, provided that you know what file to replace. Now, you can find that out by opening up a session of NZA 1.3. Loading the current roster being used or your franchise file, if that's what you're using. Then go to the Teams tab. If you highlight the AFC down at the bottom of the list, you'll see that the home uniform is ID number two and the away uniform is ID number three. And in this case, they're both the same. If you go to the NFC, you'll see that the home is 210 and away is 211. And again, they're the same. Now go to another team, say the Rams, and you'll see that the home uniform ID is 265 and the away is 264. If you go down the list, you can see what the alternates are. It's true that you can't see them here, but you can see what position they're in. Remember that this DAT file is using zero based arrays. So alternate uniform number one will be position number two, alternate number two will be position number three, and so on. Positions 0 and 1 will most likely be the home and away uniforms. Or possibly the away and home, just the opposite, uh, depending on whether or not your team uses the white jerseys as their home jersey or not. But as I said, Q is superb at posting what file needs to be replaced, so I doubt that you'll need that information. But it'll be very helpful if you wish to replace some and not all the uniform pack that has been posted. Well, that seems to be all, folks. Remember that if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And if you want to be notified when the next one will be out, you can find out by subscribing to my channel. 
If you have any questions, feedback, or if you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see in future videos, please leave those comments down below and I'll answer them. Thanks for watching and until I see you in the next instructional video, so long for now and have a good day everyone. Thank you.